hey guys welcome back to another video and this is going to be my first update of how camp nano for july 2021 is going so far yes i am on the floor of my bedroom um because the baby is napping in the other room and the other room is where i normally film so here we are <laughs> Honestly, it's not going terribly, she says, semi-optimistically. <laughs> That's the thing, there's, there's not going to be a lot of structure to this video, it's not even going to be a particularly long video, it's just an update of what's going on because I can't vlog every single day like I did before because I just don't have the time. Uh, the baby is taking up a lot of time, obviously, which means I don't have a lot of time for writing. My hair is in absolute state, but frankly, I do not care. I'm pretty sure I've got some vomit stains on me, which I don't think are from me. <laughs> My life is just a little bit more chaotic than it has been for previous NaNoWriMo's and Camp NaNoWriMo's, so it's it's a major adjusting process, and I'm, I like to think I'm doing okay, but at the same time, I know that I haven't been completely okay. <laughs> I am getting so scattered already with all of this. <laughs> so first of all, the writing. How is the writing going? Um, this week I've mostly been sticking to the first of the Seer series, so the sister series to the branded series. The word series doesn't really have much of a meaning anymore, but there we go. So yeah, I've been mostly focusing on that one this week, just to really get my teeth into it, get my teeth into the characters, really get the story going so that I can get to the good stuff. I have been doing a little bit of jigsaw writing, so I haven't been writing in a consistent order. I've been trying to, and I've been doing a lot better than I have in the past, but there have been times when a scene from from future events in the book will pop into my mind and I'm like, right, okay, forget what I'm... I, I AD, ADHD it a little bit, or ADD it, I don't know which one, uh, I think it's ADHD. I ADHD it a little bit where I have to like, oh, this is in my head right now, so I need to get this out of my head first before I can go back to what I was doing before. Um, so yeah, it's been a little bit of a jigsaw writing, but yeah, mostly on the sister series to start with. For the next week, I might branch off a little bit and do some on the other project, Project Inkstained, or in Ink, I can't remember what nickname I gave it, I'm still waiting to find a title, but I think I'm going to be focusing on that one for the second week because I have a lot planned for that one. <laughs> Again, I just intended for that one to be a duology, but then it turned into a trilogy, and then my brain's like, you can make it into a series of five. It'll be fine. And my brain's like, I need sleep before I can process any of this. Autopilot, take the lead. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to spew on the page, just go for it. <laughs> That's the thing, I'm fully aware that because I am very sleep deprived and I am getting used to a new routine and my writing schedule has been very broken, that uh, my writing quality, if there was much quality to it anyway, is not going to be as good as it was before, which, you know, that's what editing is for and I hate editing with a passion so my poor beta readers are going to be having their work cut out telling me everything that I need to work on, and I know there's going to be a lot, but I will cross that bridge when I come to it. We will deal with editing when I need to deal with editing. <laughs> I'm really enjoying where the sister series, or the Sia series, is going. The, the main character is turning out to be much more fun to write than I thought. Um, she does sort of cameo in the second branded book, but she's not like a main character or anything, that's I'm saving that for the crossover, these two books are just for her. But yeah, I'm enjoying writing her a lot more than I thought, and that's the thing, you should enjoy writing all of your characters, but at the same time I didn't know I was going to be having this much fun. She's a little bit younger than the rest of the branded group, she hasn't met the branded group yet, so she, even though the events are happening at the same time, she's going through something completely different, and it's just fun exploring that other side of things. So I'm just really enjoying writing with her at the moment. She's, she's a funny little thing, a bit of a hipster. But she's a funny little thing, I'm enjoying her. The Ink Stained Project, again, I need to think of a better name for that one. I don't even remember what I originally nicknamed it, but that one haven't... So I have like written a few scenes for it, I have jigsawed it a little bit, and I have got a plan going, and like I said, there's a series blossoming in my mind, um, but I haven't had the chance to really sit down and get onto that one yet, which I do want to do, and next week 
if my brain allows me, that's what I'm going to be focusing on. Word counts, I have not reached, it, it's the 10th as of filming this, so the Saturday that I'm uploading it, so yep, really leaving everything to the last minute on that one, great, thank you very much, me. <laughs> so it is the 10th and I have not actually reached 10,000 words yet, I'm getting very close. Um, but that is just because I've had a very broken schedule. I am honestly lucky to write more than a thousand words a day at the moment and that's really... I'm feeling a bit gutted actually because they, you know, in the past I was writing over two thousand words a day or sometimes I would write five thousand words a day or, you know, I even tried that whole 10k day where I got really damn close and you look at my previous um, uh, targets for other nanos and camp nanos and they've been in the 50,000s, the 80,000s and yeah, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I'm just lowering it to a 30,000 and even now I'm struggling so um, it doesn't give me a lot of hope for real NaNoWriMo for the 50,000 but you know things could change then, that's months away yet and uh, my, my baby is only turned four months old now so by then she could be in like a, well she's going to be in her own room, she might actually be in a proper sleep schedule, things might be running a little bit smoother because at the moment our routine has completely changed. It, we, we were having a routine which I, I think I mentioned before where we were sleeping in shifts so um, my husband would go to bed around half nine at night and then wake up about half two in the morning whereas I would be staying in the living room with the baby to make sure she had her feed then, you know, just, and then at half two he would come into the living room to watch her and then I'd go to bed until half seven in the morning to then wake up to give him time to get ready for work and we were just sort of passing over like that and that night time was my quiet time to write when she was sleeping or she just had a feed and then it was just, I had the living room pretty much to myself when she was asleep for me to do writing and editing but I don't have that time anymore. Uh, because we have now gotten to a point where she is sleeping quite well in the night. She can go up to five, six hours between feeds, which is great. So we are now all sleeping in the bedroom. We are all sleeping in the same room again. So now when we all go to bed, we all go to bed, the three of us. Um, if she falls asleep earlier, then obviously she will go in her bed and we'll stay in the living room for a little bit and then go to bed maybe an hour later. But um, regardless, I don't have my nighttime five hours to myself anymore. Bedtime is bedtime, which, you know, mentally I am thankful for because I'm getting a little bit more sleep than I was before. Um, it's building a better routine for all of us and it just makes us feel a little bit closer because it's nice to actually be sharing a bed with my husband again. <laughs> so yeah, I do have that time taken away, which, you know, say they've all gone to bed, I still stay up for maybe an hour by myself to do some writing but sometimes I am just so tired from the day that I don't want to do that so my my motivation for writing is still completely there and I still want to write and I still feel so anxious like I'm so twitchy and stuff now that when I when I don't write when I'm not able to write I want to write but in the day she only has like half an hour naps every three hours or so and in that half an hour I don't, I can't like fully get into a scene or I can start a scene but there's no guarantee that I'm going to finish it so it's very broken or I need to use that time to get stuff done around the house while my husband's working, that kind of thing. So there is, you know, such a limited time so then at nights it just all, you know, that change in schedule has been a bit thing. Um, it also doesn't help that all next week things are going to be broken up because we have a carpet moth infestation in our house, which is friggin' fantastic, especially now with the baby doing tummy time on the floor and starting to crawl. Well, not, she's not crawling, but she's trying to crawl, so the paranoia is there. So for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week, we are having all of the carpets in our house replaced, which means we are having all of the furniture moved around the place. We need to find out how to look after baby and find place for her, that there's not going to be dust and carpet stuff moved everywhere. Next week is going to be utter chaos. <sighs> um, yeah, so it's turning into a little bit of a... I don't even know the word for it. It's 
<laughs> it's chaotic, but life would be boring without chaos, right? <laughs> So yeah, how am I feeling in this first week? Honestly, I am feeling drained and I'm feeling very disappointed that I am not reaching the targets that I wanted to and that I'm not further ahead than what I am. I wanted to be in the double digit, dub, Jesus Christ, double digits for word count, but I am not. And the broken schedule and the new schedule and all these other things that are just constant interruptions. It's hard. It is really hard. And emotionally I have struggled this week, not just because of the word count, but um, yeah, there's been a lot of emotional stuff to deal with after birth and my brain is struggling to recover um, as it should. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm okay. Everyone is okay and fine and happy for the most part. Baby's great. Still stuff still suffering with constipation, colic, and reflux, which isn't great, but you know, overall she in herself is a happy baby. My brain is just taking a longer time to recover, which does make the writing process harder, which does make the change in routines a lot harder, which does make everything seem more amplified than it actually is. But we're getting there. Um yeah, I don't really know what else there is to say. I am really enjoying the projects that I'm working on when I have the time to work on them. I am disappointed with my low word count, but I am hoping to bounce back now that I know what this new routine is that we're getting ourselves into. And yeah, I am not going to be giving up anytime soon. <laughs> I've had days and sessions before where I've really struggled with word counts, but I've always come out on top in the end. And even you know, even if it hasn't been to the point that I wanted to be, progress was still made. And I think that's something that I really need to accept, is that even though it's not what I wanted to happen and it's not where I wanted to be with my word counts and my writing, progress is still being made every time I open up the damn laptop. <laughs> uh, every time I think about plot points, every time I think about expanding a series, it's always progress being made. And I think I need to just accept and rather than it be like, oh, you didn't have the time to write 4,000 words today, no, it's like, well, no, you still thought out a plot point, you still opened the laptop and looked over what you did, so it's still progress, and I just need to accept the smaller things. I need to fully understand that these big leaps and bounds that I was making before is not going to be the same as what I'm able to do now, and that's okay. That is completely okay, and I need to just accept it. <laughs> Um, I think I hear her waking up, so I'm going to end this video here. Long story short, the word count is lower than what I expected, but I'm still enjoying the projects. My emotional state has been up and down, but I'm still enjoying this whole experience, both in motherhood and in a want-to-be writer. So progress is still being made. Even the baby steps, even the teeny tiny little tiny word counts, progress is still being made, and I just need to accept that. <laughs> We'll see where the next week takes us with the whole carpets and everything. God help me. <laughs> but yes, I will end this video here before my child starts to scream at me. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well, I hope you're staying safe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, my scribblers. <laughs>